The right of British Olympic bosses to stop drugs cheats representing Team GB in the London Games ended up in court today. The British sprinter, Dwayne Chambers, has served his ban and his supporters say he should be allowed to compete as former drug-taking athletes from other countries are. At issue then is whether Britain's lifetime ban breaches international rules. Our sports editor, Steve Scott, explains. As he has done for the best part of a week, Dwayne Chambers is wearing British team colours. But despite being the UK's fastest man, Olympic bosses don't want him wearing them again in London this summer. The British Olympic Association spent the day defending its lifetime Olympic ban for former drugs cheats in front of the highest sports court there is. Britain is now alone in the world in its uncompromising stance. Overwhelmingly, the athletes, uh, winter sports and summer sports, for the last 20 years since this um, selection policy was put in place, have voted to ensure that we take a tough line against those who have um, knowingly cheated the worst of the drug offenders in sport. But a recent survey carried out for ITV's Tonight programme suggests a fast diminishing number of athletes still support the ban, although the majority, pushing 70%, still do. We all love Dwayne. He did amazingly this weekend and I get on really well with him personally, but um, it's really easy to sort of take a personal view on it. But as, as, a, as the BOA law stands, I kind of agree with it. If the BOA wins this case, it will be a victory fused with irony. That's because while the ban stays in place, there will be many foreign athletes, likely to be hundreds, who've been caught using performance-enhancing drugs, who've served their bans and will still be allowed to compete in the London Games. Dwayne Chambers, who admitted his guilt, completed his ban in 2005. His potential redemption provokes passionate moral argument, but his fate is riding on a dispassionate judgment. Whether the case is about eligibility or the illegality of an athlete being punished twice for the same offence. Almost a decade ago, I made a massive, massive mistake, and you know I'm still paying the price for it now. But all I can do is just try and rectify it as best as I can. And he knows that at 33, this is not only potentially a second chance, but also his last. Steve Scott, ITV News.